When you start a new project, you probably roughly estimate how long the project will take to complete so you can start planning the next project. All too often, projects take longer than expected depending on their complexity. This is due to what the psychologist Daniel Kahneman calls the planning fallacy. We underestimate the time it will take to complete a certain task that we carry out. We have an optimistic bias towards tasks that involve us. This corresponds well with Hofstadter's law which says, it always takes longer than you expect, even when you take into account Hofstadter's law. This has led me to plan the completion time of my projects more conservatively. First, I'll calculate how much time it would need from my subjective point of view. Then I take into account Hofstadter's law and think about all the worst case scenarios that could happen and delay my project. After I did that, I eliminate my inevitably occurring optimism by adding 20% more time on top. This way I managed to stay ahead of my schedule with a higher probability than I otherwise would have had. Interestingly though, Kahneman also described that the optimistic bias only occurs for projects and tasks involving ourselves. When we are asked to estimate completion times for projects that we don't take part in, we almost always meet the question with a pessimistic bias, meaning we overestimate the time it will take others to complete a certain task. This says a lot about our way of thinking, doesn't it? Building projects are great examples of the planning fallacy. It has become almost normal to announce an opening date at the start of construction, only to postpone this date by X years afterwards. One example close to me is the Berlin International Airport. Construction started in 2006. They estimated that the airport would be ready for operation in 2013. As of the moment we have the year 2016 and if you haven't already heard it, you can guess what I'm about to say. The airport still hasn't opened. The opening is postponed every year. This year, the board of the project broadly announced that it would be finished by the end of 2017-18. Several weeks later, the news read that there are new problems at the construction site, which may lead to another postponement of the opening. Critics even say that it would be much cheaper to just demolish the whole airport and build a new one from scratch. Although that example is due to a lot of horrible mistakes, I bet you can also think of some big projects that took way longer than initially announced. Always take these two laws into account when you start a new project. Planning carefully and conservatively. It can save you from a lot of frustration. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to be valorous.